guys, it's Sam, and today I'm going to be talking about my financial goals for 2018. So it's a new year, and a new year means new resolutions and new goals. And one of my goals this year is to spend less. Now, I consider myself a pretty frugal person when it comes to spending money, but my 2017 spending habits say otherwise. <laughs> now, I'm a person who keeps her receipts, so that at the end of the year I can look at, oh, how much did I spend on food? How much did I spend on myself? How much did I spend on whatever? So one night when I couldn't sleep, it was 1 a.m., and I decided, all right, now's a good time to look at my finances. <laughs> now I totaled everything up just from the receipts, so this is like an approximate number, but it looks like I spent over $6,500 in the past year. Granted, 5,000 of that was dedicated to travel, so my senior Disney trip, and a month in Europe. But still, 6,500 in a year for a person who just got out of high school and started college in 2017, I think that is way too much money that I spent. <laughs> so I broke down how much I spent on what, and here it is. I spent about $342 just on food. So eating out at places like Chick-fil-A and Charlie's, especially since I work in the mall, I do tend to go there a lot. And I spent about $240 on gifts, such as for Christmas or birthday gifts. With the conversions, I spent about $170 US dollars um, in Europe. And here's the big one. I spent over $750 just on myself. Now, I am a fan of self-love and treating yourself and all that, but $750? I think that's a little bit too much, Sam. Most of those purchases came from places like Target and Primark, which I often go to and I often have spending splurges. So when it's all totaled out, I kind of averaged it out per month and it looks like I was spending 131 and change a month. And that's not considering my traveling expenses because that would put the number way up and that would just be inaccurate. And I will say most of these purchases came from the beginning of the year where I wasn't worried about having to pay for school or just being conscious about money really. All right, so what am I going to do about this problem? <laughs> well, for starters, I'm going to evaluate everything before I purchase it. Do I really need it? So things like impulse buys or just going out to get some food when I have food at home, like do I really need to go out and spend that money? Another thing that I'm going to do is to avoid the stores that I spend the most at. So unfortunately that means less time at Target for me. So those are my financial goals for 2018. If you want me to make a video of my other goals for 2018, then leave a comment down below. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give a like to this video. You guys are so, so awesome, and thank you for supporting me. See you next time.